Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. New hair, who this? Don't know what's going on. What's up? Hello, honey. Got the hair done. I, I was not about to deal with my natural hair when it's this hot outside and summer has just begun. So I'm coming at you today with this nice little, I don't know what you wanna call this, but I want it to be bright and sunny, but still contrast. That's why we did the yellow with the purple liner moment. She's super cute, she's super pretty. This skin looks so good today. Yes. So let's just get on into this and get over with the thing and the, the deal and get into this, you know, thing. What? So if you want to see how we came up with this look today, stick around because it's right around the corner for you guys. But before we go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit that little notification bell if you haven't already, just so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. All right, guys, I'll see you on the other side and let's jump right into this face. Let's go. But first coffee. Okay guys, so we are back with one eye done. We're looking a little busted. It's fine. Whatever. We're gonna keep it moving. <laughs> so I went ahead and primed my other eye with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Primer. Now let's jump into the eyeshadows. We're using two different palettes today. Both of them by Color Story. One of them is the Bright Bloss. I always want to say Bright Blossoms. It's not Bright Blossoms. It's the Bright Blooms palette and then the Tropical Glow palette. I wanted something really like bright and sunny. I don't know. I just felt like I needed to be bright and sunny today. So we're going to be bright and sunny today. With the first color that we're going in with is what? With the first color? What? So the first color is coming out of the Bright Blooms palette. It's this really pretty orange, it's called Rare. And we're going to pat it in the outer corner of our eye and up into our crease. Have us a nice little, you know, Halloween moment going on. Even though we're months away. Who's excited for Halloween? I am. Now we're going into the Tropical Glow Palette to pick up Getaway. Really bright yellow. And we're going to buff that right next to Rare. And we're really just trying to blend it and buff it out. Nice little gradient. Now we're going to go back into the Bright Blooms Palette to pick up Buttercup. This is more of a lighter bright yellow. It's not as bright as getaway but it's still bright did that make any sense and then just taking that to you know buff everything through and together and round and bout and all the things now jumping back into the tropical glow palette for our two little colors on the inside we're gonna go in with sunray for the inner corner and then skinny dip for the middle And I'm taking Skinny Dip on a fluffy brush because I don't want this super bright and shiny. I just kind of want it to transi transition from that really shiny inner corner into the matte. Like that. Super pretty. Super easy. Super nice and young. What? No sense. Now we're gonna put on one coat of mascara. What was that? My eye twitched. Now we're gonna put on one coat of mascara. We're using the Aveda Moss Mascara in Black Forest. Hey. Mascara's a little messy, but you know what? That lets us know where we're putting our liner. <laughs> Y'all thought I was games. No. Okay, now that the eyes are done for now, we're gonna move on to the face. Um, I'm gonna do it on camera. 
I'll like tell you what I'm or show you what I'm doing and we'll just have like a, you know a little chit chat sound good yeah okay so we're going in with the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium warm to highlight the face today so how are you guys what's been going on uh, what's the tea what's the gist what are the things what I what should I know comment down below me I'm going insane at work it's crazy so crazy everybody's trying to get in to get their hair done people are getting mad because they can't get in I'm like oh my gosh guys we are working just as fast as humanly possible given the circumstances because you know people haven't had their hair done for a while and side note I've been using this concealer for a pretty good minute now and I kind of like it like I'm not Oh my god, this is amazing, but she's pretty good. Oh no, it's drying. See, I powder too much. Spritz it. A little bit of our little, 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 what? With a little bit of our toning mist from Aveda. And I've been getting asked a lot here lately. Why do I use brushes instead of like a beauty blender <sighs> while I stab myself in the face or the eyeball? Um, I just I just like how brushes make the product look and disperse more. My brush is shedding. Sorry. I used to use brushes or beauty blenders a lot. But now, like since I've started doing hair and like doing makeup on clients, I've just gotten used to how the brushes work and do their thing. So it's more of a, just what I prefer. Now we're gonna go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade 4, medium beige. And then with me, brushes you get more precise where you want the product to go sponges is more of like wherever the sponge puts it but with brushes you can literally go in and like put it exactly where you want it to be oh this brush is shedding does that mean I need to get a new set of brushes what the fluff oh well my little sideburn poking out oh side note guys I got my hair done <laughs> As if you couldn't tell. Yeah, I was just not dealing with this hair during this summer because it's already starting off too hot for me. And I'm just not about it. That I'm not about the the summer. Summer is not my friend. I don't think we We don't fight. Now that we're looking blank blank, like blemish wear, don't know what those are. Now we're going to set our face and we're going to go in with our Aveda Mineral Loose Powder and set the under eyes. Yes. Yes. And we're literally just putting this exactly where we put the concealer. Cute. Now to set the rest of the face, we're going in with our Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 220 Natural Beige. So, I was just thinking the other day, um, I don't have a video telling you guys who I am. And if you're watching this and you don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you don't know who I am. So, 
Hi. <laughs> I'm Cody. I am a licensed cosmetologist here in North Carolina. I live in Charlotte. My hometown, though, is Alma, Georgia. It's like an hour from Florida, five and a half hours from Charlotte, south, west, ish. Um, I went to school in, yes, I'm about to say it, Bacon County High School, school system. Yes, our county is called Bacon County. Funny because the city next door to us is called Coffee County. <laughs> anyway, now we're going to go in with our Black Radiance Soft Focus. Okay, that's just French. Wow. Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate Finish. So yes, I graduated 2011, went to college for like two, a year and a half, maybe, maybe. Didn't graduate, I was going for my theater degree, theater, theater degree, my theater degree. Um, that didn't happen, so I just started working in retail, worked in retail for six years, five years five or six years and then met my boyfriend eight months later moved to Charlotte was working at Ulta for a while hey Ulta how you doing then decided to go to hair school because I was doing makeup but I was just like playing in makeup I wasn't really like doing makeup so I was like you know what we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't make this work. So I went to hair school at the Aveda Institute here in Charlotte. I always, I keep saying here in Charlotte, here in Charlotte. <laughs> but yeah, so went to hair school. That was like a year long thing. Then right out of hair school, I went straight to the job that I am at now. Went through the training program there. And here we are today. I have tried to start a YouTube channel so many times, but it never even got started. <laughs> I'm funny. Uh, literally never even got started. And um, quarantine kind of gave me that opportunity to actually start and get in the gist of it. So thank you, quarantine. Rona. Now we're going to go in and contour our face with our Makeup Obsessions Throw Shade Palette. Throw Shade Contour Palette. Get all the words right. Um, what else about me? Um, I am a Sagittarius. What's up, what's up? I'm a Sagittarius Sun, a Cancer Moon. Explains so much. And my rising is Scorpio. Also explains so much. Me and my boyfriend have been together for December makes five years. I've been in Charlotte for four. I have a sister and a brother. My sister is two years older than I am. My brother is 18 years younger than I am. Yes, I said it, 18 years younger than I am. <laughs> and extra funny because the same time, my sister found out she was pregnant. <laughs> Super funny. So I have a nephew and a brother the same age. Actually, my nephew is like six or eight weeks older than my brother. Something like that. I am mixed. I am half black and half white. How are you? Today? I have a cat named Cardi. Funny story there. It's a boy cat, but his name is Cardi. Like Cardi B. His face is pretty. Ah, uh, okay. 
So now we're gonna go in and blush up this face. We're gonna be using our Makeup Revolution Sugar and Spice Palette. And we're gonna go in with these two colors right here. I started doing makeup when I was 20. Three? 22? One of them? Can't remember. 23 or 22. And I would just, you know, play with it in the house, you know, in my room. Until one day I got ballsy and was like, bitch, I'm wearing my motherfucking makeup. I'm bad. I was not bad. Well, I was bad, but not the good bad. I was. Ooh, Jesus, I look back on them pictures now and I'm just like, oh, nobody told me. Y'all wrong. Nobody told me. Because your boy was. Ooh, ooh. And hell, I know I'm going to look back at this. What? Look back at this. I know I'm going to look back at these videos two, three years down the road and be like, boy, what is you doing? But this is way better than where I started, okay? If we are friends on Facebook, you will you you have seen it. Now the blush is on, and we're looking hella rosy. Now we're gonna set the face really fast. And I've also been doing my brows a little bit different. But I live, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do different. There he is. So we're just taking that, our CC Beauty 12 color flash palette and we're just gonna take that black and we're gonna sketch out our tail. And then we're going to fill in the inner portion with just a brow gel. Yeah. I've been doing it a lot here lately and I live. I have five tattoos. The first one I got was on my wrist. That guy. It's my name. If I could hold it right, but it's my name with um, music notes. I have theater masks on my rib cage. I have a piece on my chest. I have two shoulder pieces. I only have one piercing. That guy. It's all I want. I don't want... Well... I had my lip pierced. That was too much. And once I have the tail filled in like that, sorry, I got really quiet. I had to, had to focus. And then we just, blah, 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 blah. and now that we have like the tail really cute and sharp, and oh, we're gonna take the NYX brow gel in espresso and just comb through the front. Yeah, I was um, in high school, I was in band from 6th grade all the way to 12th grade, played 7 or 8 instruments. I started off with the clarinet, finished off with the bassoon. The bassoon was by far my favorite because it's such a unique sound. And I mean, I wasn't the best at it, but I could make that thing work, okay? I was in two different honor bands. One was a district honor band. Those are super fun. And see how like the front just gives you that nice little filled in without being filled in look. Ugh, I live. Ugh, so pretty. Okay, now that, okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna hop off camera, do some lashes and a liner really fast, and then we'll come back and do a lip and highlighter. Yes, I like where this is going so far. I'll be right back. So rub this forehead. Haha, <laughs> good freaking catch. All right guys, we are back and we are done with the face. Now we just gotta do the highlighter and the lip. I went through and did a purple eyeliner. Mm, she cute. Yes, and the hair is still tight. I'm in pain, so I'm gonna hurry up with the rest of this video so I can take this down because this is day three. And she, she's still up there. She is still up there. She ain't going nowhere for a while. Ugh. Oh my God. I forgot how much braids itch. 
Anyway, all right, so now we're gonna highlight the face. We're going in with a Makeup Revolution strobe highlighting, highlighter in Lunar. It's got this really pretty purple shimmer to it. Perfect because the liner is purple and then that'll set the eye, you know, color theory, guys. Learn it. Mm, so pretty. Right above the brows. Down the middle of the nose. And yes, we have full beard facial hair going on. I just did not feel like shaving today. So I did it. Ugh. Hello, hello. She's a woman. Not really, she's not. She's a very thin boy. All right, so now for lipstick. Okay, so we're going in with two different lipsticks. One of them is the Aveda Acai lipstick and then the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Matte Stronger lipstick. The Acai is a little bit more of a deeper purple and the Stronger is like a little bit brighter of a purple. So I'm gonna put the deeper on the outsides and hope and pray that it comes out right. And I'm just gonna take this on a brush because I want this to be pretty darn precise. Hey. And now we're just gonna take Stronger. Bright. Yes, I like that. Uh, yes. All right, guys, we are done with this look today. What do we think? I really like. I like the contrast between the yellow and the purple. The palette, the, the colors in the palette. I mean, we've seen them before. They're still amazing. And like, come on. Hello. This lip color is so cute. This skin. Can we talk about this skin for a minute? Like, hello. Y'all see how big my forehead is now, right? Woo, honey. He gave me that extra dose of forehead when he made me, baby. That is it for this little, you know, get ready with me makeup look today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I keep playing with my hair. Stop it. Go ahead and give it a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit that little notification bell if you haven't already. Uh, so if you like what you see and you want to see more go ahead and like comment and subscribe down below hit that little notification bell if you haven't already just so you get notified anytime i upload a new video because you know we don't need to say it anymore we already got it all right guys bye so that's why we did not shave today my bun is crooked what is happening so yeah we're we're giving like straight up i don't know what to call you vibes today like, should I call you a man? Should I call you a woman? Call me what you want to, just don't say it. I might have to spaz out on you if you call me an it. We won't fight, bro. That's not cute. You say he, him, she, her, they, them. Or just say Glenn Cody. That's always a good option. Just saying. Moving on.